Welcome to Real Filmmaking. My name is Corey, and today I want to show you how to get started shooting with your Canon EOS M and Magic Lantern. The Canon EOS M is a fantastic camera. I did a video recently talking about why I'd highly recommend picking up this camera, especially if you want to get into filmmaking or cinematography. The short version of it is for the price and the image quality and raw video, you just, you can't beat this camera. But like I said, if you wanna hear more of my thoughts, you can check out this video. But today I'm gonna to be talking about all the things you need to actually get up and running shooting with Magic Lantern. So the first thing you need is the EOS M. You're gonna want some SD cards to deal with memory. I found that the SanDisk Extreme Pro cards are very reliable and they work great with Magic Lantern. I'd go with the Extreme Pro because they have the higher write speeds and so that's really going to help the EOS M when you are shooting raw video. So go with the Extreme Pros. I feel like they're tried and true, really tested, they're good cards. The next thing is you want to make sure that your EOS M is running the 2.02 firmware. So if you get an EOS M secondhand or you buy one off of eBay or something, it might have a newer firmware, it might have an older firmware. So you just wanna make sure that you're running the 2.02 .02 because that's what the most reliable builds of Magic Lantern are built upon. So you need to make sure you have that firmware. I'll throw a link down in the description where you can get that firmware and then you can just go ahead and use the Canon EOS utility to install that into your camera. And that will bring us up to the next step of actually installing Magic Lantern. So there's a couple different builds of Magic Lantern floating around and then from a build you can customize it with just different settings and stuff. I would highly recommend uh, checking out Zeke um, and how he sets up his builds of Magic Lantern. I'll put a link in the description where you can find his video where he talks about all of his settings in depth and you can download his customized builds. And that's honestly what I've used for like the last year using Magic Lantern. And Zeke will update them every once in a while, but I love the way he sets up the builds of Magic Lantern and I've had a lot of success using them. So the build I'll be using today is one that he customized and set up in November. So again, there'll be links in the description where you can grab that. So now we're gonna jump over to my computer and you're gonna see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so now I've got my two windows here. So I've got my recent uh, customized build that Zeke has set up. And I have got my SD card that's ready to go. I'm just going to copy these three things and then I'm going to paste them onto the SD card. So that's all you need to do. That's done. And I'm gonna eject this SD card. I'm going to install it into the camera. So now that you put the SD card into your camera, you're gonna wanna go and go to the update firmware and that's where you're gonna load Magic Lantern from the SD card. One thing to note here is that you have to make sure that your camera is set to the photo mode on the dial as opposed to the movie mode. When you're in the movie mode, you can't access the option to update your firmware. So you gotta be in the photo mode to do that. So you're going to switch over to the photo mode, go to the firmware settings, and then update it. And just like magic, <laughs> you are running Magic Lantern. So I just got done shooting all the B-roll for this video, but I had a heck of a time actually getting Magic Lantern installed on my camera. Not because it's difficult, but because in the newest update to the Mac operating system, so if you have a Mac and you're running the newest uh, OS, Big Sur, by default formats SD cards in a different way. Quick explanation, when you're formatting hard drives and SD cards and any sort of memory, uh, there's a couple different ways that you can format them. And there's a format called XFAT, which basically allows SD cards to be read by Macs and PCs. But the build of Magic Lantern that's flowing around that most people use and the one that I recommended that you can grab from Zeke needs to have an MFAT um, formatting to be used. So I'm gonna show you really quick how to do that. If all of this is very confusing, it's actually really simple and easy to do and it will, you can just double check to make sure your SD card is set up like this and then you should be good to go. Okay, so we have our SD card in. So what we need to do is we need to open Disk Utility. So you can search for it through your applications and you'll see your hard drive if you have any external hard drives attached. But then you can see your SD card. So you can see right here, this uh, is actually, it will show you how it is formatted. So this SD card is actually formatted correctly if I want to install Magic Lantern on it. It's an MDOS FAT32. If it says XFAT, you need to make sure, so you would go here, you would hit erase, 
and then you can choose the format of how you want to format the card. So by default, it looks like Big Sur, the newest Mac OS, defaults everything to XFAT, like with SD cards and memory. So you just need to make sure that your memory cards are set to MS DOS FAT32, or I've used just the MS DOS FAT. And either of those will allow Magic Lantern to install and boot. If not, you keep getting all these different error messages where it says it can't read all of the executable files to actually install Magic Lantern. And that's because uh, there's some stuff that the formatting isn't allowing it to see. So yeah, that is just a quick thing that I learned even this time. So yeah, Mac users, uh, beware. Make sure your SD cards are formatted correctly <laughs> or your builds are not gonna work. So a quick word about some of the Magic Lantern settings. As you can see, there's a lot of different options. You know, you can record in 1080p, in 2K, 2.5K, 2.8K, 5K anamorphic. There's a lot of different options. But I would say if you're just getting into Magic Lantern, use the 1080p mode. It is the most reliable, it's the most stable, it's the most tested. And the image is really good that you get out of it. It shoots 14-bit raw, so there's a lot of room to push colors around, do heavy grades, a lot of cool things that you can do with it. I think it has a very filmic quality to it, and there's a lot of stuff that you can do in post-production to kind of change things. I find that this footage upscales really well. Like if you're working with 4K timelines and 4K cameras, it up really nicely to 4K and sometimes it's hard to tell that it wasn't natively shot in 4K combined with other cameras. But yeah, it's a really nice looking image, looks great. So I'd highly recommend shoot with the 1080p mode just to learn Magic Lantern. And honestly, like when I shoot with this camera, 90% of the time I shoot with the 1080p mode. It's just reliable, it's tested, I can trust it. I'm very happy to run this as a B cam or even an A cam in the 1080p mode. I have shot clips 10 to 12 minutes with the 1080p mode and not worried like, am I gonna drop some frames? Is something gonna happen? Is it gonna time out? Is the SD card gonna mess up? 1080p is rock solid. I would highly recommend it. So that's everything you need to get up and running with your EOS M and Magic Lantern. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to Real Filmmaking for more stuff about the EOS M, Magic Lantern, filmmaking, storytelling, coming on a weekly basis. And until next time, keep making movies and watching movies, and I'll see you on Real Filmmaking.